Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about Security Copilot with Intune. We are going to give you an overview of Security Copilot and Intune. How Security Copilot can help Intune admins to increase their efficiency and to save the time in lot of areas such as troubleshooting, comparison of two devices, policy creation, etc, etc. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have not yet. Let's get started. How to implement the security policies? We are moving ahead. Fast forward to 2023 and beyond 2023, we are going to cover a lot of stuff like security copilot. What a security copilot? How Intune admins can get help from security copilot? It is all about generative AI and how we can automate the things with the help of generative AI and plugins, etc, etc. So that is what we are going to cover. This is the latest news coming from Microsoft. There are demos which we have taken from Microsoft, right? We don't have the all these things enabled on our tenant. So all the demos showed in this session is taken from Microsoft. It is all about security copilot. So security copilot is basically connected to all these security products, as you can see over here. Defender, Sentinel, Entra, Entra is Azure AD, Intune, Piva, and Purview. So all these are connected and security copilot is taking all the data from all these products and it is making very useful for each of the security admins using these products and this is the quick data flow and architecture how intune is coming into picture etc we will quickly see in this particular slide you would be able to see one box over here that is the box where admins will give prompt to security copilot so over here you would be able to see the steps the first one is uh, if i am an intune admin we are going to concentrate on intune today right so i i am an intune admin and i am going to prompt something when i say prompt prompt is typing something chatting with copilot you might have seen in Windows Copilot. You can chat in the Windows Copilot and that will give you options, answers, steps, buttons to enable things, etc. Right. Similarly, that is the same way how the security copilot is going to work with Intune admins. So Intune admin will prompt something and then that prompt will be sent to security copilot and security copilot will have connections or plugins for each product. So these are the plugins as you can see over here in this box. Over here, Intune is there. So we are going to concentrate on Intune and Intune plugin will analyze that prompt. And then as you can see over here, it will do the pre-processing and then send it back to Security Copilot and Security Copilot will send this to LLM. And that is where all the intelligent stuff is going to happen. And then LLM will send the replay back to Security Copilot and then Security Copilot again will contact the plugin and the plugin will post process. What do you mean by post process? Post process is maybe there could be some data which is not recommended for the users because LLM might not have that control or knowledge to understand which is the scope of that particular user or admin. The plugin will post process that and analyze the security scopes and security permissions, etc., for that particular admin. And depending on that, the plugin will send the replay back to Copilot, and Copilot will represent the display in the security Copilot window, I would say. We will see that in the demo. Hold on to that. So, that is the high level data flow architecture view of security copilot i'm going pretty fast because we have very less time if you have any questions please write it down or put it in the chat we will discuss about that during the q a session okay so what is the advantage of security copilot in intune context that is what we are going to cover in this slide first point as you can see over here it is going to enhance the capability to react to the threats or detect the threats 
very fast so that is the first advantage of security copilot with intune so as you can see swiftly respond to threats incidents vulnerabilities that is going to be the first pillar of security copilot we are talking about the initial version of security copilot security copilot with intune is going to evolve in coming years and this will be getting much more better in coming years this is the version 1 i would say that is the first thing and then if you are familiar with entra conditional access or azure ad conditional access policies there is a very favorite option or feature over there and that is what if analysis what if if we deploy this particular policy to the devices what will be the end user experience how the users experience will be and how we can adjust it so this is going to be there for intune as well using the security copilot okay and we will see lot of troubleshooting enhancements coming up with security copilot okay so that is the second pillar and the third pillar is automation of policy creation so you can ask security copilot a question in natural language and the copilot is going to process that and create a security policy for you if you are asking it to create a policy we will see that as well in the demo session so let's go to the next slide in this slide on the right side you can see the security copilot over here admin is asking for creating a policy create a policy that blocks user from using any remote storage devices on windows 11 and what security copilot is going to do is it is giving the steps okay these are the things these are the settings i have taken go to settings and administrative templates and then selected this option and selected this as enabled and here it is giving an option to create a policy there is a button over here if you click on this button that is going to create a policy for you automatically you don't need to go through the console or intune portal and go through that settings administrative templates etc you just need to click on the create policy button and that is the amazing work copilot is going to do going to help or enhance the experience of admins so that is policy generator and then on the right side you would be able to see another prompt admin is asking over here in this prompt summarize this particular policy what it is doing copilot is doing it is giving you an overview of this policy policy is designed to block use of any removable storage devices such as usb or pen drive etc etc it analyzes that and it shows oh there is a conflict conflict is the biggest biggest headache in intune i would say it is giving you a prompt advanced prompt that oh if you deploy this policy there is a chance of conflict because you have already deployed a policy with the similar settings or with the opposite settings over here you can see it is disabling and over here we are enabling it so that is why it shows it is going to create conflict. conflict so that is very helpful because otherwise we won't come to know normal admin don't come to know whether there's a security policy implemented already which is having a directly opposite value conflict avoidance can be done with the help of security copilot in intune and over here you would be able to see user impact security impact etc etc so this is all about what if analysis as well let's go to the another slide in this slide what we are going to see is what are the troubleshooting enhancements that microsoft is going to put into security copilot along with intune this is specifically for enhance the troubleshooting experience of intune admins if you look at over here let's assume that you are getting a help desk call or ticket one particular device is having a problem and then in that case you can do a lot of things with security copilot one thing there are a lot of options over here there are a lot of prompt examples over here you can use this summarize the device over here you can type in over here or you can click on it so see device health this week and then list of application on the device summarize the application deployment status and this is important so you always have this kind of errors in intune deployments and you might not have any clue about this error so this is very troublesome kind of experience for many admins then they need to do a search engine um, search or google search or bing search uh, to understand what is it what does what does this error mean 
So security copilot is going to help you in that also. If you prompt like this, what does the Intune error code mean? Then security copilot is going to analyze it and understand the issue with that particular policy and give some solutions and we give a meaningful explanation of that error. That is what at least my expectation is, I would say. And over here on the right hand side, you can see are there any settings blocking USB access for this particular device? So you are getting a ticket for a particular device and user is saying, oh, my USB is not working, even though I have an exception for USB policies. So in that case, security policy can help Intune admin to quickly analyze that device and understand which is the policy deployed to that particular user. Why is that probably you need to uh, exclude that particular user from this policy to resolve the issue and uh, resolve the ticket? It is pretty quick, right? Otherwise, we should go to a um, policy and check which is the deployment. I mean, which which group it is deployed to and whether the user is part of that group or not, etc. Etc. Et so we can avoid all those things with Intune Security Copilot. Now let's go to the next slide. And this is the demo part which I am going to cover. There are exciting options over here, as you can see. In Intune console in future 2024, you are going to get this copilot button. So, what does that mean? You are going to get better experience as an admin, Intune admin. It has some licensing requirements. So I'm not going to cover the licensing requirement. Most of you already know you need Intune Suite, etc., etc., for features and uh, for security copilot, you need some other licensing details as well. I'm not very familiar with all these licensing things. It is very complex for me. We'll see that. Now, what is going to happen is if admin clicks on that copilot drop down option, it is going to give you three options. Explore this device compare this device and ask about errors okay so if you if you click on compare the device what is going to happen is as you can see prompt is going to come over here we this comparing a device so how to compare a device compare this this device and you need to provide a device name over here so before going there first let's check where are we so we are analyzing a particular device we are checking this particular device because we got an incident let's assume like that so we are analyzing this device we are in the um, overview page of the device and we are clicking on copilot and selecting compare the device now in the prompt you you need to provide the I mean there would be a device which is working perfectly fine so you need to compare the working device with non-working device so that we can easily understand what is the problem with this particular non-working device okay so that is what we are going to see over here that you are going to type in that details which is the device which you want to cover or compare and what would be the comparison results it is going to compare the device as you can see over here compare the device configuration with desktop l5 f3 cdv this is a different device and this is a different device this is a non-working device and this is the working device now copilot is generating act answers comparison is going on it is working on the comparison and it is going to provide some results pretty soon it is all instant uh, instant comparison and instant results as you can see the comparison results are here this is important eh? at the moment it is pretty new so ai generated content can have some errors so over the time it is going to become more i mean more accurate so initially you might see some errors in the answers generated by ai so you need to analyze it how it is and what it is exactly whether it is correct or not so unique policies it is comparing both the devices working device and non-working device and then it is doing all the other comparison also application deployment and all the other things it is common policies it is going to analyze what are the common policies deployed to both the devices and what is the additional policy deployed to non-working device all those things you are going to get over here in this comparison and this is going to be very helpful normally we used to do this comparison side by side it is very tedious process from my perspective it is it is not very easy to compare the devices like that that is something we are getting rid of this is another 
demo which i am going to uh, give you so over here in this demo security copilot is going to help us with creating a kql query it is the query language which we use for all the cloud related azure related solutions i would say for azure virtual desktop etc etc for patching etc we use this query language in log analytics as well this is very interesting over here let's understand this again this is a desktop device and in desktop device there's an option to go to device query over here and if you click on that you will have a device query this is kind of a real time data fetching which is happening from the devices it is probably using win32 or ime intune management extension to fetch this data real time it is similar to cm pivot in sscm if you remember what is cm pivot in sscm it is doing the same thing in in intune it is called intune pivot so this is similar to that actually device query normally kql queries are not very easy for intune admins if you are a pure intune admin but there are experts in kql query language but over here copilot is going to help us so let's see that let's run that demo and as you can see there's a prompt over here and it says show me information about visual studio code app installed on this particular device we are in this property property of this device over here and we are clicking on copilot and then we are prompting the copilot to create a query for us so let's see how that goes it is pretty easy right copilot created a kql query for you and you can click on add and run button over here and that will quickly run the kql kql query in this particular box and that will show you the results over here see it is running the query and the results are here so as you can see this is the version number this is the location all these details you can get it over here without writing a kql query manually so that is the another advantage of copilot and this is the early stages of copilot right as i mentioned before thank you all for watching see you around take care bye bye